Okay, maybe you remember uh, what I was telling two hours ago about Prince Krak, yeah? Uh, a long time ago, in 9th century, there was a mighty prince near Vistula River. We have information about him from Chronic from Czech Republic, so we are sure about this information. Uh, and mm, maybe his name was Krak, maybe it was another legend, but we have Kraku because of, because of Prince Krak, yeah? And uh, this mighty prince near Vistula River called for settled at Gravel, because there is no other rock situated such near Vistula River. So we have some relics from 9th century. Maybe those are relics of his palace, of his, uh, his uh, I have to say, house, uh, castle uh, of his place. But they are invisible for us right now because of contemporary castle. Contemporary castle was created at the beginning of 16th century. Uh, and um, then Polish king, well educated, wanted to invite Italian architect to create an Italian style castle at Babel. But nobody from Italy would like to come to Poland because they said that in Poland the weather is awful and the women are ugly. Maybe I will say nothing about the women, but uh, I, I can say you, tell you, because you know, at that time there was Renaissance um, fashion in Italy and still Gothic period in Poland. And in, uh, during Renaissance period, a woman had huge decolletage. And you know that women with the cold is always recognized as more beautiful than uh, this one without, yeah? That's why Italian people uh, said that uh, Polish women are ugly. Okay, so, uh, you know, in Poland, not today, but usually we have rain, we have snow, we have to create a steep roof. And for Italian architect, this task to create an Italian style castle with the steep roof, it was too hard. They didn't know how to, how to build this kind of castle. Uh, that's why when the king doubled the amount of money that he would like to spend for the castle, just one Italian architect decided to come here. And take a look what he did. Uh, you can see archives on the ground floor, archives on the first floor. And on the second floor there is no more archives. There are double columns with the garland in the middle, you can see. And now we have perfect example. The shade of the roof is finished above the window. Yeah, you can see. So that's why the window uh, can catch as much light, as much sunshine as possible. That's why it was a great solution for our weather condition. And that's why in that part of Europe, we can find many castles that follow this style of Babel, uh, of Babel uh, castle. And take a look, this building, the smallest one, was for the queen and her children. This building, the best one, was for king and his lovers, of course. Uh, this one, the longest one, was for Polish government. So all the decisions about war, about peace, were made in that building. And the last one, you can see, it's not the building, it's just the wall. You can see the windows, yeah? So it's just the wall to finish the, the castle from that side. And at the top you can see the painting. Those are the paintings about King Sigismund the old that he would like to be as mighty, as powerful as Roman Emperor. And this painting is finished suddenly right here, uh, because another Polish king, Sigismund the third from Sweden, was not only the king but also the architect. He wanted to um, invent Philosopher's Stone. And that's why, unfortunately, he set fire to the castle and this part of the castle got burned. So then king, king couldn't live in destroyed castle, yeah? So that's why he decided to leave Krakow and he moved to Warsaw. But still, he was buried in, uh, in uh, Wawel Cathedral and after still uh, Polish kings were crowned in Wawel um, Cathedral. And later there was war with uh, huge northern war, war with Turkish Empire, war with Russia, war with Germany, war with Austria, 123 years of partition, First World War, Second World War and communist period. Uh, so uh, maybe not, that's why it's faded today, yeah? that's why there is no decoration today. Uh, because you, you, you can, uh, you ask me if there is a royal um, castle, yes it is, but most of all this is a monument of our history. And for example during Second World War time, Hans Frank, the um, uh, Nazi who was responsible for everything that happened on Polish land, decided that he would like to settle here. At Wawel, at Wawel Hill, at Wawel Castle. So that's why uh, today, if you wanted to visit um, uh, Wawel Castle, maybe not everything is destroyed, but the most important painter 
uh, in Vavaro Castle is Sebastiano del Piombio. Have you ever heard about Sebastiano del Piombio? I'm sure not. So, uh, so that's why I recommend you to visit rather the cathedral than the castle. Yeah, but uh, but 